time. A main, 20 minutes, plus one lap. Headlines coming into this round are big, big, big headlines. Through four rounds of DMR, we have had four separate winners. Round one, saw Iowa Hawkeyes, a DMR newcomer. Round two, saw Weedy coming out of nowhere, firing back strong. Round three, saw R. Dizzle with an asterisk, mind you. Come to find out, R. Dizzle was basically Axis in cosplay disguise that night. So points were taken away from R. Dizzle and awarded to Axis. And then, of course, last week, Kimmy, your defending DMR champion with an absolute statement ride coming out Orlando 2 and putting on a clinic. So here we are, round five, 93 points, tied at the top between Iowa Hawkeyes and Kimmy. Spots three through six are just separated by 15 points or less. It has never been more of a hype time for a race. They're good to go. I'm good to go. Let's get the show on the road. Oh, man. I hope this race is as good as I uh, had the privilege of commentating Ioma PlayStation last Wednesday, and it was a phew, it was a barn burner. It really was. I really, really enjoyed it. Provided very good racing. Whole shot predictions. You know what? I think I am going to call Thomas. I, I honestly, that's that's who I think I'm going to go with. We're just waiting on Smoke and 818 to ready up, and we're good to go. Let's cut the music. It's main event time. All right, well, I'm going to make the decision for these boys. They are good to go. Like I said, my mm, my bet's Thomas unless he has a horrible gate pick. Uh, Transcend has by far the best gate, but I said Thomas. Where is Thomas at? He's down here on the far inside. He clips the gate. It looks like Transcend is going to... Oh, 818 just beat him. 818 got the whole shot. It didn't really matter because he went wide, but still, he, he got your whole shot. Berserk goes down early. Go up here at the top, looks like Steezy, 818, Iowa Hawkeyes out in front early. That is never a good sign if you want to have a good night. 818 right there with him. Ooh, Steezy comes in hot. Where is your defending champion? He is right here. All oh, one through six are less than a second apart. Kimmy gets by Thomas. Now he's got Transcend next on his list. Where is Weedy? Your fastest qualifier, he's already here. He gets onto the table, sneaks up Kimmy's inside. Going into the sand section now, he's gonna have Transcends inside. He clicks him off. Now he only has Steezy, 818, and Iowa Hawkeyes. It looks like Kimmy forced his way in the inside there. All right, Hunger Games jump. May the odds be ever in your favor, boys. Looks like Weed Eclipse just a little bit. Oh no, I think that was Transcend that went down. I think? No, it was not, that was Q. Kimmy and Weedy side by side in the back stretch here. Oh man, one through four are all heavy, heavy hitter. Hell, one through six. So going into your first official lap, it runs Iowa Hawkeyes, 818. Weedy, Kim is in, Transin. Oh no. What does Weedy do here? He is going to have 818s inside. Does he go ahead and make the aggressive pass early? He seals him off. And he has now got second. Where is Kimizen? He is right there with them both. They go into the whoops. Pretty much almost three wide. Oh my god. 818 has a milestone moment and he is over the bars. That allows Transcend by, Steezy by, Berserk by, Q by. Can Weedy run Iowa down? Oh, Kimmy is right here. Oh, Weedy sends the section. He's going to have to double, double, double out of this. Looks like Kimmy. Oh, he might go for the. Oh, he's up the inside early there. Berserk back here battling with, I believe it is Q. And Steezy. Oh, Iowa got reset. I'm not sure what happened there. So now Weedy takes over. And Kimmy is right behind him. Weedy clips the inside of the hairpin. Going into the next 180 turn. Weedy out front early. 17 minutes left. This is not a good thing for these guys. Your fastest qualifier by at least a 
second and a half tonight. And some parts, he was faster almost four seconds than some of the other guys. Absolutely absurd. Ooh, 818 trying to recover from that early mistake. He's right beside Thomas. Berserk right behind them. Smoke behind Berserk. Fifth pin making his first main event, he said, since Monster Energy Supercross 2. You love to see that. And Subi Flow holding it down in 12th. Weedy's going over the bridge jump. Kimmy is right there. He is going to case. He's going to lose some time because of that. At this point, it's... Can Kimmy run Weedy down? I think Weedy going into the week was fourth in points. A win would do him a lot of good with getting back into the points chase. Eight one eight is making moves. He is up with his teammates now. GSR running four five six. Had the pleasure of commentating their first round last night. Hell, I thought GSR was running four deep there, but no, it's three. I had the pleasure of commentating their round one last night. Very fun night on Lana two. Didn't think I'd be saying that, but it was nonetheless. So Kimmy and Weedy are checking out. Ooh, Kimmy gets on to the table. Very good stuff. I was going to do the same. Q right behind him and then transcend. Let's go back here and see some battles. CZ is going to have it. Transcends outside. He tries to go in. It does not work. 818 is trying to sneak up the inside. And they all send the bridge. Oh, is 8 one going to get reset? Oh, oh, my God. I thought he was safe there for a minute. He goes down because of the tough block. That's going to allow several people by. Transcend and Q still holding it down in fourth and fifth. Iowa is running his own race in third. I would say at this point, just getting on the podium, point salvage is what he is after, staying as close as he can to Kimmy and Weedy because, again, Weedy's going to make a lot of points from this race if he can win it. I would say Kimmy and I will be still neck and neck there. I think Kimmy would be your sole red plate holder. Just by a point or two. And Weedy would go into third, I'm pretty sure. Ooh. Oh, it's just a train back here. 10th, 9th, 8th, 7th, 6th. You can see 10th through 5th essentially right here. Several of these boys would like not to go on top of the table. Oh, no. Who is that that went down? Looked like 818 again. He had a very, very commanding uh, heat race from what I could see. Finished second to Kimmy. And uh, he was in my qualifying lobby, and he was putting in some burners. Just not having the best moto, unfortunately. It happens. He sends the wall. Everybody is going to elect to double, double out. Fifth pinned is battling with Transcend now. It looks like Transcend made a mistake and has fallen off to seventh. So I'm going to let you guys in on, on a secret. Fifth pinned plays this way. This man is in an A main playing in first person. Oh, no. Don't commentators curse me. He's going to have Transcend's inside here, but he goes wide. That is going to allow Berserk to be right there. Fifth... <laughs> Fifth pin racing on fifth pin racing. I can't deal with this, boys. I'm sorry. Oh, up the inside here. 818 responding quickly. Oh, we got somebody. Q has caught Iowa. Oh, my. I did not see that coming. I don't know if that's from Q just clicking off burners or Iowa making mistakes. Maybe both. I always like to give the benefit of the doubt there. What's going to happen here going into the bridge? Oh, no, commentators curse. I'm so sorry, Q. That's going to allow Iowa to stretch back out. Where is Steezy? Steezy's right here as well. Thomas, again, love to see him in the A main here. Newcomer to the scene, putting in the work when he can. Love to see it. Oh, my God, somebody just came into the other end of the... What in the world? 
I've been made, made aware before there's... Oh, no! 818! How is he on his bike? Oh, okay, well... Oh, looks like Thomas has a bit of a bobble there. It's gonna allow Transcend to make up some time. Transcend's gonna have his inside. Thomas beats him to the corner, though, so it does not matter. Going over the first triple. Transcend's gonna have Thomas's inside as he forced the pass here. He might try to exit early. He can on this corner, unfortunately. You try to uh, scrub in into that corner. More often times than not, you're going over the bars. Going into the whoop section. Fifth pin's falling off a little bit. Oh, no! Fifth explodes right when I switch off of him. All right, so Iowa has stretched back out from Q. Kimmy is still running his own race in second. Weedy is gone. Like, I'm talking gone, gone. Oh, my God. He has nearly the entire length of the section on Kimmy. So we got about 10 minutes left in DMR round five here at Daytona. And, I mean, one, two, and three are... Literally, if you look at your dots, here's Iowa, here's Kimmy, here's Weedy. They are literally by themselves. Q and Steezy are now having a battle, so I'm going to go on board with that. So we're not just watching people <laughs> ride by their lonesome. Steezy has his inside. He seals Q off. Does Q respond quickly? He tries. Not going to get the job done there. Transcend is a few seconds off those guys. So Q will elect to go high on the berm here, try to get a nice drive off. Scrub cancels off the table into the whoop section. Thomas has now caught Transcend. Go on board with Thomas for a little bit, see what he can do. Him and Transcend both get pretty good bridge jumps. The Transcend gets the triple out. You love to see that. Oh, smoking 818. About to have a little battle here. Berserk slowly but surely catching them. Fifth has now, I think, that blunder in the whoops cost him big. He's now holding it down in 12th. Smoke uh, does not have 818s inside there. Oh, Iowa cutting it close there. He has actually caught Kimmy. Oh, I didn't see if Kimmy went down, but I'm going to, with the gap that Kimmy had, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it was a mistake. Because I don't think Iowa, even clicking off burners, could have made up that much time that quickly. Iowa's going to case the bridge, but soaks it up nicely. Oh, God, no. Where is Steezy? Steezy's coming over the bridge now, so Iowa will be able to get back on his bike and resume pretty peacefully. But that allows Kimmy to pull away quite a ways away again. And again, I mean, I, I I don't know what to say. You know what's crazy though, right? Weedy texted me last week and said, I just want you to know that I'm due for one of those statement rides. And I, I'm sorry, that was one of the most icy things anybody's texted me, just out of the blue. So he is making good on that promise. Like, this is just pure domination. Axis put on a very similar performance in Iowa PlayStation on Wednesday, but... I don't know that even Axis had a gap this big this early. I mean, we've got seven and a half minutes left, mind you. It's not early. We're more than ha halfway done, but this is insane. Like, he's probably, I would say, at least 20, 25 seconds ahead of Kimmy right now. Thomas still trying to run Transcend down. Thomas gets onto the table. He might try to go up Transcend's inside here. He does have it. Oh, they're going to have a nice little, well, I would say bars banging here, but it's kind of dumb to bang bars right there because then you both have the worst drive in the world to exit the sand. Going into the bridge jump. 
Thomas is going to have a nice clean here. Yep, clean drive, triple, and triple. He jumps over Transcend. What does Transcend do? Oh, was, was that? Oh, was that Q? I don't know. Did somebody go down right there? I, I thought that was Transcend. He may have went down. 818 has now found himself in seventh. Now Thomas is running down Q. Oh, he gives him a little wheel tap there no, to let him know he's there. And Q has Steezy in front of him. And then Iowa's right there. Slowly but surely, they're, they're well, not really running Iowa down, but... Oh, my God. Going into the whoops, Thomas is right there with Q. Is he going to go on top of the table? He is. Q is not. Oh, no. Thomas goes over the bars. He's just riding the ragged edge. That's going to allow 818 to get up his inside and take over the position. Now, Iowa and Kimmy are on the same part of the rhythm section now. It looks like Kimmy's going over the finish line now. Now, Thomas has responded very quickly, right back on the back of 818. Oh, saves it. Transcend is trying to catch them. I think he is reeling them in just a little bit. Oh. Q is running down Steezy, it looks like. He is gaining time on him very quickly. Weedy is going to be on lappers very soon, actually. With about four minutes and 40 seconds left, he is coming up on fifth pin and Subi Flow, so probably be warning those guys shortly. Q still in fifth. Thomas looks like he got around 818. 818 cases the bridge jump. He's going to have to double, double, double his way out. And Berserk and Smoke and 818 are all right here together. Oh, oh my. Let's go on board with Berserk for a little bit. He is setting up to have Smoke's inside. Does he beat him to the corner is going to be the big question here. Uh, Nope, he just elects to follow. Smoke is right on 818's back wheel. Like, literally right there. What does Smoke do in the 180 berm here? He is going to elect to try to cut down on the inside. Him and 818 go side by side over the first table into the whoop section. 818 gets a much better drive. He, he, he pulls away there. Berserk is making up time now, it looks like, on Smoke. Where is Weedy at in terms of lappers? He is right there close. So, right here in 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th, we have a nice little battle. 818 sends the bridge. He's going to case a little bit, soaks it up nicely. That's going to allow him to get the triple, triple, I think. Yep. He gets it. Smoke is going to be right behind him. 818 trying to stay nice and low. And Weedy is going to get the triple triple out as well. He is going to be right on Subi very, very, very soon. Ooh. So it looks like Smoke has fallen off 818 just a little bit in the whoop section. 818 is going back to work trying to run Thomas down for P6. So with two minutes left, 
it's a lot of the same old, same old, to be honest. Weedy 1, Kimmy 2, Iowa 3. Steezy has ran a good race. Your LCQ winner. And fourth in the main event. I mean, what more can you ask for? That could potentially, just based off a position standpoint, that could be right, right of the night. Right now, I kind of want to give it to Weedy just because, dude, this is a statement and a half. I This is the most dominant performance on a Daytona I've seen this year. Hell, on, on a Speedway this year. Oh, I missed Thomas. Must have made some kind of mistake, and now he has dropped down to ninth. I'm not sure what happened here, but I want to go back up and make sure. It looks like Weedy got past Subi. That is my bad. I looked over, and I saw Thomas had fallen off the ninth. So, But I think Weedy got around him pretty easily. I'll go ahead and give Fifth a warning here soon just to let him know that Weedy is coming. Let's make sure he stays out of the main line. Kimmy is coming over the finish now. So with 38 seconds left, I don't think Weedy is going to make it across the finish line before time expires. So we're going to be coming up on your last lap here very soon. Fifth goes wide. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. So Weedy's by him. That should be the end of the lappers. Any battles here with 15 seconds left? It looks like Smoke and Berserk. Oh, and Thomas. Yoshi says Weedy has a similar style to Axis. I would absolutely agree to that. Big agree. All right, so Weedy is crossing the finish line now. This is officially your final lap. Can Thomas get by Smoke in the Whoops? He gets a very, very good drive. Going over the big roller. He is going to have the inside going into the bridge underneath it. Smoke cuts over hard. Thomas seals him off. He takes the position. He also has the inside going into the sand here. Does Smoke retaliate? He tries to sneak up the inside, but he cannot because Thomas closes the door. Berserk sends the wall. Weedy is going through your sand section now. This is literally the only battle going on on the track, so I'm trying to get a good little bit of it. Pretty mellow main event, unfortunately. That's what I was hoping wouldn't happen, but you can't really uh, fault these guys for checking out. I mean, it just happens. All right, so they're officially starting their last lap, but Weedy is on the home stretch. Round number five, he said he was going to make a statement ride, and he absolutely made a statement ride. What a ride from Weedy. Kimmy is going to come home in second. I think he might just beat the finish line. And then Iowa Hawkeyes is going to come home in third. So going into round six, it looks like Kimmy will be your sole red plate holder by just, what, a couple points. Weedy will move into third, and the storylines continue. Going into the sixth round, the points chase is only getting tighter. Any last lap battles? Because whoever has position takes it. And it does not look like it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is your main event. Let me get a screenshot of this quickly before they decide to start bouncing 